This video is an addition to the video series for Apex 18.1. We worked through 30 videos to create a web application that allowed us to, to maintain data about animals at an animal shelter. This video deals with some minor changes in 18.2, which came out while the original 18.1 series was being created. So in this video, we're going to look at 18.2, how we created a master detail, and what are the differences we see from when we created a master detail with two detail sections, now that we have Apex 18.2. You'll see that Apex has made it easier to create a second, even third detail section where, for example, in our scenario, we have animal related to transaction, animal related to activities. What we see in this video corresponds to Apex 26 in the original 18.1 series. So I'm logged in to Apex in the Animal Shelter Workspace. So this is a different workspace than used in the original Apex series 18.1. And we see down here in the lower right that we are working with 18.2 in this, in this video. So I'm going to run this application and it will have a somewhat different appearance than the original series. I made a video where I looked at some of the basic master detail changes in 18.2 and that came under the people section. Now I'm going to look at animal data related to transactions and activities. This one has already been created. We have the search features in the in a left side panel. So I could look up a particular animal by name, select them, and then over on the right hand side I see the animal data and then I see the related transaction data and the related activities data. So let's see how this was created. I can go to any edit just so I get to page designer. Click the plus sign and add a page. We see before we select form which is what we would have done in 18.1 we now go straight to master detail at this initial page. And these are our options for master detail. I'm going to do the side by side, which gives us the search panel and then the master and related detail sections. I'll let Apex number the pages, and this will be animals with transactions and activities. And I'll click next. I'll have it create a navigation item under animals. And I'll actually do a M-D at the end of that item. Click Next. The master table is Animals. Then we have our Display column. So I do have the option for the primary key here. I'm going to select the primary key value, and I'm going to select the name of the animal. For the Detail section, which would be a related table, I'm going to pick Transactions. Once I've done that, I get an option for Detail Table 2, and I select Activities. Notice I get an option for Detail Table 3. That's not something we need, but you could add a third detail region. I click to Create, and I'll save that, and I'll run that. So I have the Search feature over here. So I could type in JA, for example, and I see Jake. Notice case has been dealt with. There's an upper function that pushes all the text to upper case and a search for an inexact match. So I don't necessarily have to type in the full name. Let's try T. Do I get So for T, it's looking for T anywhere in the name. I can pick one, and then I see the related animal data in the master region, and then I see the related records in transactions and in activities. I even have the option here to say I just want to see transactions, or I just want to see activities, or I want to see the data in both detail regions. Really nice feature. This is a very useful improvement on what we've had in the past for master detail. 
we could add our list of values so that we're seeing text instead of numbers in the detail sections. The use of those list of values is illustrated in the original series.